Now with spring coming, we are going to have a lot more boaters on our waterways, but we also need to make sure that we protect our outdoors. And zebra and quagga mussels are posing an increasing threat year by year. They aren't here in British Columbia yet, but every year we find that they've gotten a little bit closer. So today we're announcing a further $3 million boost to our invasive mussels defense program. And we are going to more than double the number of conservation officers from 33 to 68. We are going to provide the Habitat Conservation Trust Foundation with $150,000 every single year to boost lake monitoring for invasive mussels. And finally, we've got uh, Kilo, who's Canada's only multi-purpose mussel sniffing dog. He's being trained to detect both uh, zebra and quagga mussels, and he can do that because of the, uh, the, the scent ability that he has to distinguish. And to put that in layman's terms, is uh, you and I would go into a kitchen and smell stew, where he would go into the same kitchen and smell potatoes, carrots, onions, flour, beef, salt and pepper that's in the stew. So he can uh, actually pick uh, mussels out of water. It's a huge advantage to us to have a dog that, uh, that is able to do that scent distinction. I was one of the individuals finding a lot of the muscle encrusted boats last year and I mean you have to stay on your toes out there as an inspector because these these guys as you can imagine they can get into any little crevice on a boat and there's there's so many areas that they could establish. It's a threat to all of British Columbia and we need to do everything that we can to stop these invasive species finding their way into our province.